R. O. E. Return on Equity. I'm sure you would have come across this term in financial news and investor reports. Return on equity is a measure of a company's profitability and how efficiently it generates those profits. ROE is calculated by dividing a company's net income by its shareholders' equity. But do you know what are the different drivers of return on equity? Let's find out in this video. Before getting started, make sure to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel, if you're new around here. DuPont analysis is used to decompose the different drivers of ROE. DuPont analysis is a framework for analyzing the fundamental performance and profitability of a company. Originally popularized by the DuPont Corporation in the 1920s. The five elements of ROE are 1. Operating margin 2. Asset turnover 3. Equity multiplier 4. Interest burden and 5. Tax retention rate. Let's now understand each of these in detail. Number 1. Operating margin. Operating margin is equal to earnings before interest and tax, EBIT, divided by sales. Operating margin is the measure of a company's ability to convert sales into profits, thereby assessing the operating efficiency. Number 2. Asset turnover. Asset turnover is equal to sales divided by assets. Asset turnover is the measure of a company's ability to convert assets into sales, thereby evaluating asset efficiency. Number 3. Equity multiplier. Equity multiplier is equal to assets divided by shareholders' equity. Equity multiplier analyzes a company's use of debt to finance assets, thereby measuring the degree of financial leverage. Number 4. Interest Burden Interest burden is equal to profit before tax divided by EBIT. Number 5. Tax Retention Rate Tax retention is equal to profit after tax divided by profit before tax. In order to derive the formula for our OE using the DuPont 5-point analysis, we use this calculation. Operating margin multiplied by asset turnover multiplied by equity multiplier multiplied by interest burden multiplied by tax retention. Once all other factors are cancelled out, we are left with PAT, or net income, divided by shareholders' equity. Just to summarize, DuPont analysis model is of great importance, as it does not just tell you what the ROE is, but rather it allows you to identify which specific variables are causing the ROE in the first place. By measuring and highlighting those underlying factors, it becomes easier for us to analyze and improve it if required and take better business and financial decisions. With that we come to the end of this video. Hope you found it useful. Please check out our social media and if you like the content, be sure to drop some likes, comments and share it with your connections. Thanks for watching.